Now the second option is manually. So that is very similar to what we did with your ribbon. So this is on the left hand side, you can see XML reference of your sitemap and right hand side, we have a tool known as sitemap editor. We are not using it anymore, which we don't need it. So that's on the right hand side because with the help of sitemap a designer within application, we don't need it. So how to customize it manually, the same process, create a solution, add your particular sitemap into that solution, export it and get the customized XML file, make the changes and then import it back and do it so i'll just show you quickly now you know the process so here we are on a solution name of the so this is your default solution so instead i will just utilize the custom solution okay let me quickly create a solution with the name sitemap customization so a new solution is created a solution that name already trying to set already using and so that's what i was looking for if any other solution is there, I want to use that. If there is already one is there, we don't want to show okay. that one is a manual solution, so you cannot customize it. Option to not go. Select the publisher, select the version, save it. We got the empty solution created. Go to client extension. Now, whatever you want to make the change, I go to add existing. Click on sitemap. I select sitemap for default one. Also, I select sales hub. Sales hub. I select only the default one. Then I click OK. Add it to the solution. I have it now. Save. Export. Let me quickly export the solution. Make it unmanage. Click export. All right. So it will create a, a download for me. Same way you have seen a zip file will be downloaded, which contains the XML references of my default sitemap. Sitemap customization version to not up. Open this up or extract it. So here we have the customization file. So this time it contains the details about your sitemap, default sitemap. All right, so here we have entities, entity, one book entities added, magnificent underscore book. So here you have the sitemap. So you can see area ID. So basically there will be three areas. So I'll just show you the default sitemap. So this is your default sitemap. Here you have sales service. So all these are the areas. So you can see the first area is SFA, that is Salesforce Automation. What is the resource ID of that? Description icon, which icon is used. That is just mentioned over here. Then there is a group inside that, my work, sub area with the name. Dashboards. There is one more sub areas over here. Personal word. The third one is navigation. So these are the three items coming under my work. So if I don't need this my work area here, I can simply remove it like this. Or if I don't need a particular sub area, I can remove that. And then you make the changes. Or if I want to add one more area over here, for example, I need to add. So what I let me do is. So this is the next group. With the name accounts. So if I need account need to be displayed also in the uh, my box sub area, just add it here. Someday it may show a duplication that I will resolve it. So like this next group, so these are the groups inside this. And then you have another group, marketing. So all this you can see here, marketing call. Then the second area will be area CS, customer service, this is another area. So the Salesforce automation area is over with a lot of groups. Inside each group, we have set up sub areas, that is the entities, and the next area starts. So this is how it is structured. So it is very, very structured compared to your event definition. So then you make the changes, you save it. I made some changes, save it, and then you come to your folder. Before that, you just need to Delete them. Yeah, this is the one. I'm going to delete this one also. Just try to compress it. This is the one. Come to your solutions, import, select that. Let's see if I can import it. So, this error I'm seeing for the very first time. I have done it earlier. Solution.xml custom.xml context file. The compressed file must contain the following files, other that is root. 
that is what we exactly did it is also only at the root so if i look at this file at the root of it okay i got it you shouldn't have a subfolder inside that you have to directly anyway the same issue we got earlier also so you can just select this item directly and then compress it rather than compressing the folder so site map customization i say version remember let me try it once again insert this here is all so i just importing that changes that we just did now if i just go to my site map it will be updated let me go to the default one and see if the changes have done if not you have to just go to your solution and refresh it once again then what is not proper that's what is issue what is successful so you can go to your default solution okay i'm not going to spend a lot of time on it if you get the idea that is good enough this is my solution site my version 2 okay so you don't need to basically go ahead and make the changes manually in case of ribbon as well as site map the intention of showing you that one is what is the structure of the xml reference of your site map and ribbons and when you are using the tools what are the changes going to happen that was the intention of just demoing you the manual way of doing it otherwise since we have tools there is no need of just going for manual customization